learn to respond instead of react. So why do we react? Well, there's many reasons. Um, first of all, we're human beings. All human, be all human beings react um, to who we are. It's how we behave sometimes. Um, we react because we are defensive. We react because our emotions have taken over. We react as an impulsive uh, response. We come from an impulsive place. Uh, you know, being very defensive. Um, we react also because, you know, we're upset, we react because we're threatened, we feel triggered, and we feel that we are uh, in a, you know, under attack, or in a fight and flight situation. So these are some reasons why we, we react. So what's the difference between reacting and responding? Well, reacting, uh, as you just heard, can be problematic, you know, in relationships, uh, family, friends, colleagues, uh, marriages. If you're reacting, what's happening here is uh, you're making judgments, you're coming to conclusions, you're making assumptions, okay? And when you do that, uh, you miss out on a lot of information. And then you say something regretful and usually can, um, you know, hurt relationships, uh, you know, uh, cause distance and so forth. So, how to respond instead of react. And this is something I teach my clients. It's a very simple tool. Uh, here are five ways. Number one is learn uh, or gain awareness of yourself. Gain awareness of yourself. So even you know before the situation, you've got to practice uh, you know, before it happens. So before the situation, you know, learn about yourself, what, what triggers you? you know, what makes you upset? What makes you angry? What makes you sad? What makes you triggered? What makes you feel threatened? What makes you feel left out? What makes you feel bullied? What makes you feel, you know, and the list goes on and on. Ask yourself these things and, you know, journal, write it down, learn about yourself. Okay, so that's the first step is to gain awareness of yourself. Step two is to pause. So when this is happening, you're in an interaction um, and you feel triggered. Okay, if you're in a fight and flight. Um, you feel attacked or what have you this step is to just pause taking that 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 step back or just that little 10 second break or pause okay just 10 seconds can make a huge difference uh, rather than you know the defensive impulsive response 10 seconds count to 10 backwards you know and take some deep breaths just for 10 seconds and you can uh, you will see that it will make a world of a difference okay uh, and you don't have to re uh, react immediately you know when we are under no compulsion to react immediately you know to give people answers immediately and one thing you should learn one phrase you should learn is um, you know let me gather my thoughts and I will respond to you um, shortly this is good uh, a good skill to have even as a manager or someone who's in leadership or even just in any relationship really never react or give answers uh, immediately if you feel triggered right so that was step two pause step three is to notice notice yourself so notice what's going on in the moment what emotions have come up for you name those emotions for example i feel sad i feel upset i feel hurt left out angry name those emotions okay when you take those uh, that time just to name those emotions you already uh you know you've already sort of withdrawn from the uh, situation and taken that time to collect yourself so just that time there naming those emotions is very very beneficial um and ask yourself what does this or what uh, what does this situation remind me of what do these emotions remind me of what's it related to when was the last time i felt this way when was the last time I felt upset? When was the last time I felt threatened? What was the situation back then? And is there a link? Is there a comparison? You know, am I thinking too emotionally right now without the logic? So this is a good time to uh, notice what's happening within you at, in that moment. Step four is to become curious. So become curious. Come from a position, instead of a position of uh, impulse, to, you know, to be impulsive, um, come from a position of curiosity. Okay, curiosity means, you know, asking for more information. What you said, uh, you know, um, hurt me. So, 
I want to clarify, you know, um, what did you mean by that word? You, you said X, Y, and Z. What does X, Y, and Z mean? Can you please clar uh, clarify that? Can you reword that for me? Um, you know, I'm not sure what you meant when you said X. Um, can you please rephrase that? You know, um, what does that word mean for you? And so on and so forth. Uh, lastly, step number five is to put logic with emotion. So usually when you react, you're, you're, you're reacting just on emotions. Step five is to react on emotions and logic. So yes, I feel sad or I feel angry, but um, you know, this is uh, unacceptable and I will not um, you know, tolerate this. I, I, will, I will walk out you know, or I will leave or you, know, you set that boundary there and then. So logic and emotion. Uh, usually you'll have a better outcome and you know learn how to take a break learn how to take a break so if the if the conflict or the the situation is going back and forth and you are only becoming more and more heightened learn to say i'm feeling overwhelmed i need to take a 20 minute break and i will uh you know i'll revisit this situation with you later and it, you know on that break take a breath don't think about the situation you know don't think about what i'm going to say don't you know, reload your your ammunition, you know, uh, completely distract yourself. Uh, physiologically, emotionally, you should uh, um, calm down. You know, it usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And then usually when you revisit the situation after about 20 to 30 minutes, uh, it's like a whole different conversation. That's how you respond instead of react. Um, if this video resonated with you, if you found it helpful, please comment, share your thoughts and um, I'll see you guys later.